Hello fellow HubSpotters, this is Emma with Kiwi Creative, and today we're talking about one of HubSpot's newest beta programs, the color-coded deal tags. This beta is available in the starter, pro, or enterprise tiers of Sales Hub only right now. In this video, I'll explain what deal tags are and how they'll appear in your portal, show you how to self-enroll in the beta program in order to get this feature, demonstrate how to create a tag by filtering your standard and or custom deal properties, and talk a little bit about how this could be used to help your sales team. So color-coded deal tags are little colored labels that appear on the individual cards for each deal in the board's view. So you won't be able to see these tags in the list view as they're designed to be uh, visual cues that allow your sales team to quickly identify and access high priority deals. You can create tags based on any of your deal properties, standard or custom. So tags could be great for identifying deals with high dollar amounts or those with impending close dates, um, lack of activity, or any other characteristics that are important for your sales team to find quickly. So let's get started and build some tags. Uh, first things first, we have to enroll in this beta. Um, I'm sure one day it will be a live feature available to everyone, but for uh, us lucky folks taking advantage early, this is how we have to start. Head on up to the top right hand corner, click your lovely picture. From that drop down, go ahead and select product updates. Now this page is pretty great um, anyways. I visit this often and it simply indicates either what's completely live and available for everyone or potentially public beta programs you can check out. Um, and this is just very cool because you get to see all the new stuff that's being added to your portal. You can specify what tool in this left-hand column you're interested in looking at. Um, if you're into marketing more than CRM, for example, you can also click the date range in the top right-hand corner and look at updates potentially a little farther back. Today, however, we're gonna scroll down further on the left-hand side and select betas under that early access category. This will look different based on what you have in your portal, what hubs you have, and what tier you have. And again, this beta that we're looking at specifically is for sales hub and it's starter pro or enterprise tier. So what do you know? I can see it right here, public beta colored deal tanks. And to join it, you simply click join beta. Now you can enroll your entire portal or should you want to test this for yourself first, you can just pick yourself. I'm going to enroll everybody because it's a demo portal. It gets a little crazy. I'll click join beta. You'll notice this green ribbon along the top says I have successfully enrolled. Now you'll also notice I can leave. If this doesn't fit what you need, you can leave this beta program. No harm, no foul. All right, let's get to building a tag. We'll visit the settings cog in the top right hand corner. We want to scroll on down our left column Underneath our objects dropdown, we'll select deals because it is a color-coded deal tag. Next, we'll click the pipelines tab along the top. And what do you know? There it is. If you don't see it yet, give your portal a refresh and it should populate. Um, it's easy to find because we have a pretty little green new tag right next to it. So let's go ahead and click customize deal tags. Let you give you a little more information and we'll click add tag, that orange button down at the bottom. Now, deal tags, if you recall, will show up on the card of the board's view, which means squished, a lot of information in a little box. So as we name this tag, let's be thoughtful of that. Um, in this instance, I'll uh, say 10K plus. And of course, you can name it whatever you like, but shorter is sweeter. Better yet, I'll use emojis. I want a dollar sign. I wonder if we can add that. All right, we'll do a heart because we, we love this deal. Okay. We love this deal. Okay. My description, um, deals that have an amount over $10,000 in this instance, a little 10 K. So I don't completely forget what we're talking about. Um, this description you don't have to add, but if you have a lot of folks, that are admins. We want everyone to know what's going on. Um, and of course, we never forget what we've built as super admins, right? We never forget what we've made. Um, so just have that there just in case. We can pick a color. I'll pick yellow kind of arbitrarily. Now you can apply this tag to all of your pipelines or just individuals. Um, if I had multiple pipelines here, I couldn't say, oh, demo sales 
and demo too, but not Salesforce, right? So you certainly could replicate this tag for individual pipelines if it's appropriate. Um, but I figure having a, a separate pipeline was required because perhaps it necessitated a different sales process. So maybe a different deal tag is appropriate too, right? So I'll add it to my demo sales pipeline and I'll add the filter. Now you'll recognize this process. This is identical to adding criteria to either active lists or enrollment triggers to workflow. So you're well versed at this. We'll add a filter. And in this instance, it's really simple. Remember my tag, I want to grab the amount because I want to know all of my deals that are greater than or equal to 10,000. Okay. You can add and logic. So 10,000 and expiring soon. 10,000 and hasn't had activity recently, um, or you can add or logic, right? So maybe this is appropriate if you have multiple currencies. Is it 10,000 for the amount and then potentially a different currency is over $8,000, right? Whatever best fits your process can go here. We'll review this tag. It'll just give you a quick little synopsis and I can save it. Now, if I head on up uh, forgive me. You'll notice here now you have a list. You can add more tags or all the tags will show up. You can sort them by pipeline. So you'll see here, I don't have any of my Salesforce pipeline, uh, but I do in my demo sales, right? Additionally, if you hover over this tag, what do you know? You can edit it or delete it. So just like with everything else in HubSpot, it's not written in stone. It can be updated if necessary. Now let's see what it actually looks like. If I head on up to sales and I go to deals, I'll need to make sure I'm in the appropriate pipeline. So demo sales, check. That's where I put the tag. Now, remember, I can't see it in my list view. So bummer. I have to head on over to the board. And when I click that, where are you? Where are you? Let's give it a refresh. Um, another or logic filter you might want to add is, um, or and I mean to say is $10,000 and maybe in one of these other stages, right? So I'm not seeing anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, I just saw one. Here we go. Let's do this. We can filter by our deal tag. I only have the one, so I'll grab it. Oh, there they are. Okay. They were a little further down. This is a demo portal. So we have a lot of junk in here, right? But we can see here, here's our little tag, right? We made it short and sweet because it's obviously competing with other information over a small uh, piece of geography, right? But we have it right there. So our sales team can very quickly identify if you have a cleaner pipeline than I do, what deals require the most attention. These are high dollar amounts. Maybe you have another tag that says, um, the close date is impending. It's 30 days away. Or, hey, this deal hasn't had activity in a long time. What's going on with this, right? So this is an example of how you can utilize this beta um, to kind of make it very quick and easy for your sales team to access the information they need. Now, unfortunately, we can't build a report on this quite yet, um, but it is a beta program, so that may change in the future. So keep your eyes peeled.